without that, what without that, there's no hundred properties a year for me. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. We like to call call a lot of experiments. We also do something called a uh, slide broadcast, um, which just drops a voicemail yeah. in there with a ringless voicemail, essentially. And sometimes we get calls back, and you know we've gotten listings through slide broadcast. So we like that a lot too. But with the expired, what we realize is obviously probably the same thing with you. They're very angry and they do not want to talk. How do you crack that ice? Um, with them well I mean when they're really angry I'm just gonna be really angry with them because the thing is is I'm standing behind the fact that I'm there to help them gotcha. and so when they start to act angry with me then that makes me angry because I'm actually there to help them so if I call them and say what do you want I'm, I'm like ma'am I'm just calling to see what I can do to help you I don't know what your problem is with me today because you don't even know me I'm here to help like yeah. stuff of that nature it's like I'm gonna give it right back to them when you give it right back to them really quickly and hard just as hard as they're giving it to you it shocks them for a second and then they actually open up once you once you get past that then they open up see it's your job Job to learn how to communicate with people. It's not our job to sit here, let them cuss us out and hang up on us. You know, that's gonna happen regardless. You're never gonna get past the days where people do that, you know, right. but we have to at least give it a shot. I mean, you have to stand behind your intentions that you're there to help them. And it should fire you up if somebody gets mad at you on the phone. You know, I just give it right back to them. You know, and that a lot of times, out of the people that get mad, when I give it right back to them, 50% of those people open up and we start to build a relationship. I lose the other 50%, but hey, most people are losing 100% of those people. Okay, that's that's good. Now, following up, what is? I, I know you have the, the newsletter that you do, which is which is great. We have a kid in the office, Chris Toro. He actually does the, the Toro report, and he follows. Um, you thing once a week with all the new listings, whatever, if you have any questions. How long have you been doing that? I think it was, you said like six years, and how much has that helped you in terms of your referral business? No, I've been doing that for 13 years, since 2007. Oh wow, oh, wow. okay. Every single Wednesday since 2007. And it's literally everything, man. Like, it's the reason why I sell 100 properties a year. Really? Wow, so yes. that's, that's just, wow, okay. Yeah, it is the reason why I sell 100 properties a year, period. Without that, Without that, there's no hundred properties a year for me. Wow. Yeah, because that because that built my brand. You know, when they when they see it in their inbox every week, even if they open it or they don't, they know it, they see the consistency. When they see that, then they think, oh, Ricky's dependable. Ricky's consistent. You know? They start it, it's an extension of who you are. And so they think, man, this is a hard working guy who's been sending me this weekly email for ten years, you know? There's no right. way I'm gonna use a different agent, you know? Right. I like that. Now that, that whole um, concept, I guess the whole how to do it, is available on ZTD as well? Yeah, there's a course, in the course, there's a lesson about my weekly email, and there's a okay. little video tutorial. I screen share my computer and uh, oh, wow. build one. I build an email right there in front of you and just kind of talk through it and answer a bunch of questions that of people that were watching it live and stuff, and a lot of good information. And then if you have any further questions that it doesn't answer, you can just reach out. I appreciate that. Now. In terms of following up, let's see you get a lead on the phone. Hey, I'm not looking to do anything right now. Maybe in 2022, in two years, I'll be looking to sell. Yeah. What did you follow up for that person? I put them in that weekly email deal and I just let them call me whenever they get ready. Wow, so you, you're not reaching out six months from now saying, hey. You said they want to do something in 2022, you say? Yeah, why would I? Yeah, no reason to call them in six months. They said 2022. So you just put them on the email and let it handle itself. Yeah, and they'll call me when they get ready. And if they don't, I I did the best I could do. You know, like I'm trying, I'm trying to help as many people as I can. So at some point you have to sacrifice quality for quantity. At some point it's got to be about volume. There's two things there. You're wasting a dial on someone okay you're, you're where, that could be a new client all right that person's already in your personal branding machine right and so hopefully they call you back um, so there's two things there's the fact that you're wasting that dial which is not a wasted dial anytime you call anybody it's not a wasted dial you know so that's kind of debatable there but what gets me is the organization it takes to 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 keep up with that person and to call them back in six months for somebody who said they wanted to do something in two years the time that it takes to keep all that organized with all all your clients to me is one reason why I'm able to open it opens me up as a single agent to sell a hundred properties because I'm not spending all my time organizing I'm just spending a hundred percent of my time trying to help people buy and sell properties not 70% of my time organizing